Hello, newest Sycamores. My name is Devin Serrano, and I'm the Director of Athletic Training at Sweetbriar College in Virginia. I am also a member of the inaugural cohort for the Doctorate in Athletic Training Program at Indiana State. So, first of all, welcome, and buckle up, because this is about to be the craziest ride you have ever been on, whether you are a GA on campus or a distance uh, full-time uh, student, this is going to be the craziest roller coaster ride you have ever been on. There are ups and downs and sudden drops and sharp turns. There are twists. There are loops. There's everything you can imagine all thrown into two years of intensive online doctoral work. Um, I moved several times while being in the ISU DAT, I changed my settings several times. I applied uh, while I was interning at ESPN in Florida. I started my first summer and fall at the University of Louisiana as a full-time volleyball athletic trainer as an intern, and then I was a fellow uh, at Auburn University working at Fort Benning, and now I am a head athletic trainer at a college, and I did my entire DAT while working full time and moving and doing all of those crazy things and this is probably one of the hardest things if not the hardest thing I've ever done. The ISU DAT is going to take any limitation that you feel that you can put up and completely tear it down. You are going to be pushed in every single way that you can possibly imagine and in ways you can't imagine. Um, you're going to step outside the box of every assignment. Um, you're going to look at things in a completely different manner than you thought initially. Um, and the expectations are high. You are now a part of a long-standing tradition of excellence, of forging a future for not only yourself, but for your fellow athletic trainers, for your students, for this profession as a whole. We are expected to be the best. We've always been the best here at ISU, from the first accredited bachelor's program to the first accredited master's program to now the first accredited doctoral program. Indiana State produces the best, and you are now expected to be a member of that. This is a very elite group that at times you're going to wonder, do I belong here? You're going to wonder if I, this was the right decision, was going down this rabbit hole the right decision in your career, if going and taking this huge leap of faith is really what you're supposed to be doing. There are going to be long, late nights. There are going to be in-depth projects. There's going to be a lot of stepping outside your comfort zone to push yourself and be a better clinician and be a better athletic trainer. I remember my first conversation with Dr. Games back in probably April of 2015, wondering and asking him, is this worth the risk? It wasn't accredited yet. This was the first cohort. And he truthfully looked at me and said, I don't know. And with 12 days to go till graduation, I'm very glad that I took this risk. I have been pushed harder than I've ever been pushed before. I have truly found a strength and a passion that I never thought I had. So I am eternally grateful for that. Um, and you are now part of a tradition of excellence. You now represent myself and the entire first cohort, the cohort ahead of you, the faculty and staff, Dr. Eberman, Dr. Games, Dr. Powden, you represent Indiana State, you represent athletic training. You represent something that is truly unique. And the same goes for me. I now represent you. I am now one of the 20 people leading the way for you to be even better than me, to be even better than us. Every single person in this profession has the ability to do great things. And obviously, the big three in our program saw that in you, and you should take that with, with pride. So we're about 12 days here from graduation for our first cohort, and I can't help but think back to 
our first ever DAT weekend in July of 2015, flying up to Indiana with no idea with what to expect and just wondering what was in store. So we get to our first day and we were teasing Dr. E and Dr. Games that they should have a white coat ceremony for us. And Dr. Games just kind of laughed and Dr. E kind of rolled her eyes at us and we went along with the rest of the day and all the presentations that followed. And we came to class the next day and at the spots we had been sitting the day before, um, we had these little pieces of paper, these little white coats um, that they had printed up for all of us and put at our desk. And they told us this was our white coat ceremony that we wanted so desperately. But the reason why I've carried this little piece of paper around for two years, it sits on my fridge, is the fact that at the bottom of that paper, for all of us, they wrote our future titles. And that made it so real for all of us, knowing that in two years, that was going to be a thing. And that lit a fire underneath every single one of us that got us through that weekend and those final projects. And that's the reason I keep it on my fridge, is a reminder of that passion and that excitement for the days when it gets hard. Because there are days when it's hard. You just want to come home after a long day and sleep. You don't want to go to that collaborate session. You don't want to do that weekly task. But you know what? Looking at that reminded me every single day of this program what I was fighting for. And it just reminded me of all of the lessons that Dr. E and Dr. Games and Dr. Powden drilled into us. And I'm not going to lie, these last couple of weeks have been really hard. The doctoralitis has sunk in, and it's hard to find that motivation. So I came into my office the other day, and on my desk was a, a quarter zip pullover that my field hockey team had ordered. And it looks like any other real quarter zip, except there's something on there that I haven't seen yet. So, I can't wear this quarter zip for another 12 days, but it will be traveling with me to Indiana. Being able to know that in 12 days, I can now show off this program even more than I already have and be proud of that. And, and people ask me, it's like, what did you do your doctorate in? Be able to say, I did it in athletic training. I did it through Indiana State. There's an excellence that's attached to that. And it's something that I'm really proud of. Going through this program, you're going to have doubters. You're going to have haters. You're going to have people tell you, like they did me, maybe you should just quit when the times got hard. And there are times you're going to think they're right. And there are times that you're going to think, I don't, I, don't, I don't need this. I can just go home and sleep and move on. It's okay. But it's all going to be worth it. And I can tell you that from experience. I had people tell me I should just quit. I had people tell me I wasn't good enough. I had people tell me that it was stupid or silly. And you know what? In about 12 days, they're all going to be wrong. Every single one of those comments is going to be gone. I'm a different kind of trailblazer than you, but Indiana State breeds trailblazers. I'm in the first cohort. You're now in the third, fourth, fifth. But being a part of Indiana State makes you a trailblazer. It makes you uh, to be someone that is willing to fight and willing to do good things. You're not going to sit back and let the world spin on its own. You're going to help push it there. Through this program, I've been given opportunities to not only grow as a clinician, but grow as a person. I've been given the opportunity to make my profession better. I've found my voice, which is something I didn't even think I, had, I needed to find. But through this program, I found my voice. I found my voice to advocate for myself. I found my voice to speak up and promote my profession. I found a voice. I found a way to show the world, not only is athletic training a good profession to have, but it's a necessary profession. It's a needed profession. And I am truly grateful to Dr. Games and Dr. E and, Doc and Dr. Powden for taking a risk on me because I know it was hard, but so far it's been worth every step.